Well, hello again and welcome to my channel. I know I got a lot going on behind me and I'll give you a little tour of it. And this is my indoor garden that I've started for the spring season. And I'm doing this now because I'm in a cooler climate and because I wanted to get my starts early and extend my growing season. I am doing it inside, never this early, but because it's so much more milder this year, I decided to start my indoor growing earlier. So let me just give you a quick little tour. Here I have some greens. I have, I started my beets today. It's March 1st. And so I decided to go ahead and start some of the other stuff that I will start a little bit later, but these will do well in the cooler season. And so getting it started earlier would be better indoors for me. These are all greens. I have, I have here, what do I have? A lot of greens, Brussels sprouts, I have cabbage, I have spinach going, all sorts of stuff. But I want to go real quick and show you. These, I already have the setup here for all the things I'm going to be starting in these cups. The seeds are already in there and I put some water in there to soak the seeds overnight. So that's what I'm going to be doing for here. I know it's a mess, but that's part of being in the lab. <laughs> okay. So here I have all sorts of things going and it's pretty much organized because as you can see, it's well labeled. With the dates on them from when I dropped the seeds this right here is a loofah plant and I got these seeds from D mood so check him out D M O O D because he has some gardening stuff on his channel and he's knowledgeable so you can check his channel out but we're gonna continue here this right here is a let me show you, let me get the name. It's a goji berry. And this I bought at Tractor Supply. The price was not bad at all, so I decided to buy it and try it. I do also have some other ones from Tractor Supply, but they're on the windowsill right here and the sun hits it really good. Let me just show you. This right here is a kiwi. And the variety of this kiwi doesn't need a pollinator. And right here I have an aronia berry. And I did this, let me just show you. Aronia berry, it's also $8.99. I did the scratch test on it and there was some greenery. As you can see right here, it's starting to, let me see if I can focus this for you. Right here, you can see little buds coming out so there's life in it but so and these don't need pollinators so that's the reason why I got it I usually do my research first and see if I need pollinators this right here is some ginger I dropped today as you can see I let it sprout in this plastic bag for us just a simple uh, plastic bag, grocery store plastic bag, and I put it in this box. I just put some soil in the box and I drop them in here. I have some sorrel here or hibiscus. Some people know it as hibiscus. I have some spinach going in these cups and just other stuff. My avocado that I need to transplant is in here and I have some other stuff going on here. These are more greens. And look at this, guys. This is my ginger that I set on January 7th. Look how tall it's gotten. Okay. I have a pepper in here. I have my edos. I've showed you that on a previous video. I have some potatoes coming up in here, making potato slips. And I have all sorts of stuff going on in the corner there. So I am getting ready for this season. I have stuff growing even under the table right there. Let me show you. I got my setup going. I mean, this is as best as I can do, so that's what I'm doing. 
but this is pretty much my setup and it's indoors. So that's pretty much my little indoor growing tour for you. But what I really wanted to come on here and show you tonight is my seed stash. So, as you may know, I've said it before, I have lots of seeds and I won't stop getting seeds. If it's stuff that I don't have, I will get seeds of what I want to get, pretty much. So, this is a seed haul that I made from Baker Creek. That's where I usually shop. And I think I bought like 41 seed packs. I don't know. Let's see how much I bought. Actually, I bought 38 seed packs and I got three of them for free. Because usually when you buy a certain amount, you get a free seed pack. These are the two same. I don't know why they would send me the two same. And I do have some more of that that they have sent me for free before. This is a new tomato that I've never had. And so I'm going to try planting this at some point, maybe not this season, but I'll have the seeds here. So this is my seed organization here, and I have lots and lots of seeds, and I try to keep them as organized as I possibly can. So here I have three of these photo savers to save my seeds in. Full of seeds, and yes, I did get some more. But I'm just going to show you some of the seeds that I was able to get. I'm just going to go through these really quick because I don't want to make the video too long. I have amaranth, Georgia collards, different type of amaranth. This one is the pink beauty. This is the green callaloo. I have this thousand head kale. I haven't seen anyone grow this as yet. Maybe I wasn't paying attention, but let me know if you've grown this before. Does it really get this big? Okay, I just wanted to try it. This also is something else I wanted to try. I don't know why. It's called Jelly Melon. Kiwano Rund Jelly Melon. And Ground Cherry, but because it's not a perennial and it's not cold hardy, I should say. Is it a perennial? Well, it's not cold hardy. I would have to plant this in a container so I can bring it in when it gets cold out if it's not done, you know, the fruit's not done maturing. This here is some basil and this is not a perennial. It's called the Ghana Akokomesa, A-K-O-K-O-M-E-S-A, -E Ghana Akokomesa basil. This is another amaranth here and these are not... Perennials, Aurelias Verde, A-U-R-E-L-I-A-S, Aurelias Verde Amaranth, it's a green amaranth, and I have this white borage, do your research on these herbs that I'm showing you, they are valuable, so this is a white borage, this is a blue borage, I also have this Chinese sweet basil. I have this lion's ear, and I know this from growing up back home. We call it honey circle, and we used to make tea with that. So I'm pretty familiar with this herb right here. But it's not a perennial. I will grow it this year. I will harvest it and dry my herbs and save it. Golden giant amaranth. Um, dreadlocks amaranth. Look, we match. Elena's rojo amaranth. And I have this hyssop here that is not a perennial. Actually, it is a perennial, but it's not frost hardy. It is a perennial, not frost hardy. So, what am I doing with this? I gotta figure it out, but I am gonna be growing it. It's called Arcado Pink Hyssop. A R C A D O Pink Hyssop. I also have this balm, Moldavian Dragon Head, and I have this 
Butterfly P, Blue Queen. I have another one somewhere. There it is. I have this Lavender Queen one also. And I am going to be making teas with the petals of these flowers. I'm pretty sure and I heard that it makes for a good flavorful tea. And these are not frost hardy. And let us see. And it's a perennial in zones 10 to 11. Also, some of these herbs, they are biennial. And biennial is when it flowers every two years. So the first year it would not flower, the second year it would. Just like your garlic. When you plant it that first year, it won't flower. But the second year, you'll get your garlic flowers. So check these out. Now, over here I have a stash of perennial herbs that are also frost hardy and so I can direct sow these in the ground and it'll be fine. I want you guys to take note of these if you wish and do your research because I believe that having seeds is important and more importantly having perennial herbs is so much more important. So here we go. Ella Campaign, Caraway, Pink Dandelion, Kelway Golden Chamomile, Pearl Yarrow, Double Diamond. I have, I do have a different yarrow somewhere hanging around, but I do have different varieties in a lot of these herbs. And so they are perennials, so I would love to have them all if I can. Whorehound, this is a white whorehound. Do your research, guys benefits in here. Majoram, we use this as a seasoning. You can also make teas with it. I have this blue salvia here. Skydan salvia. Mountain mint. I have lots of different types of mints already. And these are from the Agastache family. Um, these are so good to make teas with, guys. So I'm going to show you, I have three different, four different ones. Oh, I think I have them all. Okay. I have five different ones and they are all frost hardy and they are all perennials. So I will have an abundance of it. I will always have it. So that's the reason why I wanted to get these seeds and plant these in ground because they are frost hardy in this zone, zone 6B, and they are also perennials. So this one is the raspberry daiquiri, apricot sprite, lavender martini, Texas hummingbird mint, heather queen, or heather queen, and this is the rose mint. I haven't had any of these before, but this is an investment. It was good money spent. And because they're, like I said, they are perennials. And I can also save seeds from them. And this one I have is the Annecy Hyssop. I do have a Corian Hyssop somewhere. Actually, I have some growing in the back on the table behind me. And this is a different variety. So I decided to go ahead and buy the seeds. Now this is also, I have the wild dandelion in my yard growing everywhere, but this is also a different type of dandelion. I have two of them. I think I have three of them total here. Three different varieties from the one I have in the yard growing. And this is a different one. It's Italico Rosso. It's a red dandelion. Also, I bought some gourds. Even though this is not frost hardy and it takes... How long does this take to grow? I do not know. But guess what? I think it was worth a try. I will still grow it. Um, I'll start it indoors. I showed you earlier that I have one already growing in there because I was sent some seeds from D-Mood. And I have my own seeds now. So I'm still going to try to grow this loofah 
It doesn't matter how long it takes. I heard that it grows fast, but that's okay. I'm starting it indoors so I can also grow this loofah. So guys, it's important to gather your seeds, right? Gather your seeds so you can have abundance of food. You can have medicine. Do your research and check these herbs out and see what benefits it has for you. So guys, I won't make this video too long, but as always, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed my little indoor garden tour, and I'll see you again next time right here on Fifi's Journey.